the return of the children Rudyard Kipling. Neither the harps nor the crowns amused, nor the cherubs dove winged races, holding hands forlornly the children wandered beneath the dome, plucking the splendid robes of the passers-by, and with pitiful faces begging what princes and powers refused, Amperson Quo. Ah, please will you let us go home. Amperson Quo. Over the jailed floor, now weeping, ran to them Mary the mother, kneeled and caressed and made promise with kisses, and drew them along to the gateway, yea, the all-iron unbribable door which Peter must guard and none other. Straightway she took the keys from his keeping, and opened and freed them straightway. Then, to her son, who had seen and smiled, she said, Amperson Quo, on the night that I bought thee, what didst thou care for a love beyond mine or a heaven that was not my arm? Didst thou push from the nipple, zero child, to hear the angels adore thee when we two lay in the breath of the kin? Amperson Quo. And he said, Amperson Quo. Thou hast done no harm. Amperson Quo. So through the void the children ran homeward merrily hand in hand, looking neither to left nor right where the breathless heaven stood still. And the guards of the void resheathed their swords, for they heard the command, Amperson Quo. Shall I that have suffered the children to come to me hold them against their will? Amperson Quo.